What's going on, people? I am back with another show and tell of a 1911. A lot of you guys know I'm a big 1911 fan. And I was in my gun shop that I normally purchase guns from last night. And <clears throat> they had a Springfield Armory operator, um, the MC operator. Um, in their used case and I was looking at it and I'm like man there's no way this thing has been fired so anyway <clears throat> here it is so there is I be I'm really finding it hard to believe that this has been fired so the price point was amazing um, I got this for 950 out the door not the light though I bought I bought this light today from them but anyway Springfield Armory MC operator I have no mag it's clear so this is a model that comes with the Pacmire wraparound grips not sure what I think of those yet um, <clears throat> I already ordered a Magwell a Smith & Alexander a 10-8 performance flat trigger <clears throat> and uh, some grip tape for the front strap because the MC operators do not have um, stippling on their front strap. So, um, anyway, uh, it's got night sights, and these show a 2017, so I'm assuming this, this is at least three years old. Um, <clears throat> didn't come with a box, and it came with one mag. So it was a Chip McCormick mag. So well, anyway, um, I bought this probably about eight hours ago and I've been playing with it ever since. It broke the whole thing down, cleaned it, lubed it. <clears throat> so in one of my last videos, I was talking about lights. Uh, I was a big Streamlight fan. I still am a big Streamlight fan, but these Surefires are growing on me. And I run one on my other operator um, <clears throat> so this is a Springfield Armory, uh, range officer operator. So the only difference that I could see between the MC and the range officer is fiber optic sights. Um, I did the tenant performance flat trigger, Smith and Alexander Magwell, BZ grip. So that's another thing I ordered too. I ordered some more BZ grips. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my dogs are making some weird noises. So I have this one custom Cerakoted last year. It's a multi-cam green. And I don't know how many thousands of rounds I've had through this 1911, but it has never once malfunctioned, not once of any kind. And I've ran every type of ammo I could through it, all types of different mags. And this thing just keeps trucking along. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> It, it's crazy that both of these are Springfield Armories, and I showed you guys I had a, a TRP. I actually have two TRPs. I have the the railed and the non-railed TRP, <clears throat> and every every one of them that you pick up, they feel so different, and it's it's weird. the The grip thickness and everything feels different. Now, granted, they have different grip uh, sizes on them and everything, and different textures and all that good stuff. But <clears throat> oh, the other difference is this has ambi safety. The range officer doesn't, only has single-sided safety. And <clears throat> I'm not too picky or concerned about um, ambi safety or single-sided safety. The only benefit I see to ambi safety is, is if my right hand goes down for some reason, I can still control the firearm with my left hand and with my thumb anyway. So... One thing I like about Springfield Armory 1911s is their ambi or their safeties, their thumb safeties are very positive. Um, <clears throat> I have some 1911s that are kind of floppy, kind of spongy, and every Colt 1911 I've ever held has the worst thumb safety I've ever felt. I don't know if I just had a string of bad luck in every 1911 by Colt that I've ever picked up. Um, and engaged and disengaged their thumb safety was just the worst I've ever felt or that is just all of their guns 
So that's why I do not have a Colt 1911 in my lineup. I just do not like their thumb safeties. <clears throat> so you can hear it's, it's uh, very positive, very audible. Same with the my other operator. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I am going to be going out this weekend and I have a thousand rounds of ball ammo that I'm going to run through this and definitely want to get this thing broke in and just whatever is necessary to get this thing up and running so I can carry it. I do not carry firearms that I've not shot. <clears throat> I've made that mistake before with a Remington R1 Enhanced 1911. I carried this thing around for about a month without shooting it. And when the time came to go to the shooting range and shoot it, I fired the first shot and it was just a jam matic since then. So I had to do a lot of tweaking and filing and what it came down to was my uh, slide stop, slide release, whatever one wants to call it. The inside was catching the round before it was um, putting another round in the chamber. So definitely a lesson learned there. <clears throat> um, I don't know what else to tell about this. Uh, it's a very solid pistol. The lockup is super tight. It was... I mean, this thing literally looks brand new still. I There's no holster wear. Um, I mean, when I broke this whole thing down, I had a flashlight in every crevice looking to see if any type of residue that may have not been cleaned or any type of wear, and I could not find any. So I really think I got a steal for this. And <clears throat> I know there's not many people out there that carry 1911s daily. I'm, I'm one of those people though. I will carry this because I've carried my TRP for, oh God, a, a good while. Um, I don't know, it just something about a, a 1911. The, it does, it sucks because it's super heavy, but I have uh, really good holster setups and, and gun belts that <clears throat> kind of help remedy the, the, basically the boat anchor you have inside of your pants. I carry IWB, especially in... 1911 configuration um anyway uh i will do a follow-up video once i get everything installed that i ordered and after i've ran a thousand rounds through it i really don't see any problems i've never had a problem with a springfield armory 1911 and i've owned several and still own several but everything is super smooth this is this is really smooth 1911 so <clears throat> but anyway surefires expensive but they are starting to grow on me so one thing uh in my last video that i made i was i was really blowing up uh streamlight the tlr1 hl lights so i really like how user friendly their controls are here for your index finger so it's funny after i made that video um i was doing some practice draws um in my house and the controls uh kept getting caught on my shirt as I was as I was drying out and I don't have a TLR one next to me but you can see the controls here um, they're they're very much more hidden than a, than the string light controls so this this will be another test uh, just practice drying and everything so <clears throat> anyway guys I just wanted to do a quick video I like showing off my new guns and everything I actually bought a bunch of new guns here in the last two weeks and uh, <clears throat> I bought a SIG 226 uh, Elite RX SAO. It has the Romeo 1 red dot. I bought a Glock 20 because I wanted a 10 millimeter in a Glock uh, configuration. I'm still looking on, uh, I'm still in the hunt for a Glock 29. Um, I believe, oh, and my uh, Smith & Wesson 4506, 45. And, but anyway, um, I will do a follow-up, like I said, after I get everything installed and uh, several hundred rounds for this. I do have a thousand rounds put aside for this though. And I want to get this thing red hot. I just, I want to push it to its limit. So, and Springfield has not let me down yet when it comes to their 1911s. So anyway, guys, uh, hope everyone's good. Hope y'all are uh, 
healthy still, and I will talk to y'all soon.